but we didn't get good news. <laughs> Yeah, you can start by saying that. And we just got out of our um, anatomy scan. And I feel like I'm going to say all this and it's going to sound like I'm overreacting, but we just got like really weird news. So it started off really great. She was so cute. She was like moving around. And um, so I'm 20 weeks today. And. I don't know, she kept like focusing on her head and I remember thinking that that was weird and Corey said it was nothing and then I just had this really weird feeling and everybody just was like acting so weird and you didn't even think anything of it. I don't know, I haven't been to as many ultrasounds as you have so I can't really tell any difference. I've had so many and I'm just, I feel like I'm so used to getting bad news. I said that there is like this weird, Sorry, I know like crying is really annoying. And it probably sounds really whiny. Uh, she said that there is this really weird shadowy area on Darcy's like brain and that her skull bones are, she just said weird. She said that she didn't even know. And I was like, well, what does that mean? And she said she didn't know. And she, she said the typical doctor thing that something might not be wrong but that she can't really tell that it looks like either her skull bones are overlapping or there's something wrong that she can't tell but it's the typical response like don't worry about it yeah she was like don't worry well what am i gonna do when you just tell me that like something's wrong with her head i'm not gonna worry like that's the most ridiculous thing that i've any doctor has ever said it's it well it's honestly it's our fault to be honest because we're so jaded to the fact you could tell me we could have 20 ultrasounds and you could tell me at every ultrasound that the baby looks completely 100 percent healthy and i will still feel some type of way about it because when we were having blair we had i think maybe four or five ultrasounds maybe four and we were told that everything was 100 percent fine we even did blood work and everything came back 100% fine. And lo and behold, on, I'm pretty sure it was the anatomy scan. The same scan that we just did today. It was the anatomy scan when they said, hey, we think that something might be wrong, but don't worry, we're gonna send you to Winnie Palmer, you know, the greatest hospital. I probably shouldn't even say the hospital because okay. now people know where we live, but we are fortunate to live at, at one of the top children's hospitals in the United States of America. We don't live at the hospital, we live near no, one. But that's when we went there and you know we got the ambiocentesis and that's when they were able to pinpoint what the actual problem was. It's just scary because I feel like everything, I feel like it's all happening again. Feels like it same. feels exactly the same and she doesn't even know what's wrong. So now we have to go get another, it's like a level two ultrasound at the hospital and I know I should be happy that I get to see her again, but it's just scary because that's exactly what we had to do with Blair. And then that day, they just told us like horrible news. And we had the amnio that day, and I just... This is, this is the same scan, the same words, the same... Excuse my French, the same <coughs> bullshit, the same fake smiles. I don't believe that our doctor would lie to us, but I don't know. You can't, you know what they say, you can't BS a BSer. You know what I mean? You tell me that something is 100% fine, and then two weeks later you tell me that my daughter's dying, and now you tell me the same exact thing. It, I don't know, it's like. I just wanna like run away, and I don't even wanna, I'll be honest you guys, like I don't wanna vlog this. I don't, I didn't do this with Blair. When Blair was dying, I up late, I posted on Instagram because it was easy because I could just write out how I felt and I never picked up the camera. Oh, we, what we should have filmed was if we give you any hope, which I hope that we do, using Lauren's platform, um, immediately following this news, we came in our car, we prayed, and we sang a song together. Um, does it make us feel any better? No. 
No. And th that's not, I think it's a farce and a fallacy to say, oh, just because you're a Christian, everything's going to go 100% fine. I challenge you to find a, a scripture in the Bible where it actually says that because you won't find it. I do believe that God is a faithful God and that all things work together for the good for those that are called according to his purpose. I do, tr I do wholeheartedly believe that, whether good or bad. Almost like the story of Joseph. You guys intended this for evil, but God intended this for good. So I do wholeheartedly believe that. Because I mean, without without what happened to Blair, we would have never had Brody. Yeah. You know, the ripple effect, the butterfly. I just want to see Brody so bad. I just want to go home and I want to cuddle him. And this could be nothing. And I'm praying that it's nothing and that she's healthy and that everything's fine. And that's the doctor did say that. She said it could be 100% fine or it could be something. And she said that we don't know. She said that sometimes. She said it could be positional, so I, mean, yeah. I guess it could have been. And she said. I that know that the technician was having trouble because Darcy kept moving, yeah, which I, I thought was a good sign that yeah. she was moving so much, so I don't know. And uh, Darcy, she said that like it happens towards the end when the baby like positions himself to like be born. Um, so it could be the way she was laying, it might have just been that I don't know it was just the day and how it looked or it could be something wrong obviously it, you know that's always a possibility so she said that I have to have that scan done it's just annoying that I can't schedule it right now like she said so it's Monday and they're gonna call me and this is exactly what they did with Blair they called me to schedule it and I just remember feeling like helpless waiting for them to call me she said if they don't call me by Wednesday afternoon so it's Monday um, then I have to call my doctor and my doctor will call them and get them to schedule but she said it usually they'll schedule the scan within the next two weeks so sometime within the next two weeks I will be um, going to the hospital and getting another scan which that's gonna be a hard day because I don't even I mean even though I'm hopeful that everything's okay it's just gonna feel like it's not gonna be because it's gonna be the same place the exact same place I just wanted to update because like I said I didn't do this with Blair and I feel like my platform only grew because I shared our experience losing Blair and I guess just like life after that and you guys know that I'm always 100% like honest and real and I really want to run away right now I just don't even want to deal with it and I want it to be nothing and I hope that I'm being over dramatic and that I'm reacting 100% too no, much I don't think you're being over dramatic I just wanted good news and it's so hard I feel like it's so hard just to get that Coincidentally, our devotion this morning was Job chapter 1, for those of you that are familiar. That was very ironic. We would appreciate all of the prayers, all of the prayers, because I just, I don't know. That's all I can do right now. But she looks really cute. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what... I wish my doctor could have given us more answers. I wish she could have at least told us what it could be, you know, just so I could prepare. So all, she, all she said is she sees a shadow. So she maybe if you are an ultrasound technician or a doctor and you are following us, you can maybe tell us what this shadow she's talking about in her head. She said shadowy around the skull bones and that they look like they're overlapping. Or if you got the same news at your ultrasound and you ended up finding out what it was, please tell us. Even if it's bad news, like, I just want to know because I don't even know what to Google. And I told her, I was like, well, I'm probably going to go home and Google because you're not really giving me much. Thank you guys for watching. And please pray for us. And I will update whenever I know anything because I'm sure a lot of you will be anxious just as we are. So we love you guys. And thank you for always being there for us and listening to us.